Krofnik Farmland. Or I think I just botched the name. I don't know. I don't know how to say the first word at all. So anyways, today I'll be talking about the new map in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Krofnik Farmland. And uh, I already played it a few times, you know, here and there. I already got like 10 matches in and I'm telling you, this map is a piece for everyone. I think anybody can enjoy this goddamn map. It's so well done. It's not legendary status, but I can tell you like it's very playable. It's very enjoyable. Um, one thing I can tell you like you can just run around with SMGs, assault rifles, uh, snipers, LMGs, you know, shotguns. You can run however you want it. The outside areas, you know, pretty much that's the sniping zone, and the inside areas in the map are pretty much you know SMG territory, assault rifle territory, and shotgun. That's why I'm telling you like it's available for anyone to play this goddamn map, and it's amazing. Um, there was a, like a lot of situations where I do go inside the houses and of course, you know, you gotta be prepared to really quick aim and all that stuff. So if you go through the outside, you gotta be prepared to shoot from long range combat. So it's an all around map. It's a really caters to everyone out there. Um, and campers, of course, people are gonna say like, well, how are the campers in this map? Well, to be honest, there are some second floors, you know, in some houses, but I mean, there's other ways you can go around it. They're not as OP as in the freaking district map. If you guys do not know what the district map is, pretty much it's a high rise, you know, map where there's a bunch of buildings with 50 floors on and people would just camp upstairs and pretty much put a claymore in the stairway. And if you die the claymore, you can have to start all over again and start climbing the stairs again. That map is a little bit boring most of the time. You mostly barely get like. 25 kills that's as much as I can go sometimes I'll hit 30 and 35 but that's because I got lucky and got some of my kill streaks going on but you know district is not as good as this one and then let's talk about quarry quarry is not that bad either I mean I'd rather play on quarry all the time but it does get annoying with the tanks and the one-sided hill which I think they should have two sides but whatever you know quarry is not that bad but this map it just really outdoes it like it's just that good also another thing that this map reminds me of is uh battlefield 5 you know battlefield 5 does have a bunch of maps that look like these and uh pretty much um it gets everybody involved it gets there's just so many ways to flank the enemy so many ways to approach a certain objective and i like this i like this map a lot so uh yes i've called my kill streaks left and right you know i've done it before so many times already and uh it's so fun to use there's a lot of ways you can use a chopper gunner and you know the ac-130 there's a lot of you know there's a lot of ways you can kill the enemy in this map that's what i'm telling you this map is very open space uh but not too open space like piccadilly um, it does have a good amount of houses to get some cover on and some uh, a good amount of hay and boxes out there and walls so it won't be like just a like a straight lane so you have chances to actually approach a certain objective and they did a hell of a job in this map it is a good job whoever designed this map from the development team in modern warfare you did a hell of a job man so yeah this is like the first map i ever enjoy in call of duty right now and um, I know people are going to be asking me, you know, have you played the one for 6v6? I have already. I do have some clips for it. But I'll talk about it like in my next video for sure. Um, so yeah. Uh, so this map, I'm telling you, I'll probably be spending most of my time on and doing some multiplayer challenges and getting some of those, you know, uh, call signs and emblems and all that fun stuff. Because there's a, there's a lot of ways you can win in this map. There's a lot of ways. A lot of ways you can approach the enemy. A lot of ways you can approach a flag. And it's just amazing overall. So, um, so yeah guys, um, they did a hell of a job and they actually added more life into the game and to be honest, because I thought this game was going to die like by the month of December, it looked like it because, you know, there's not a lot of content to really play in on day one and um, just adding this map and the 24-7 map is just a tremendous job. I don't know how they pulled it off like this because I know a long time ago back in Call of Duty Ghost and also in Advanced Warfare, most of the good maps were actually DLC. So I don't know where did they get this idea of like, let me release all the freaking terrible maps in the game. And then all the good ones later. They should never do this, bruh. I don't know why they do this. Because I know Black Ops does it backwards, you know, pretty much they release all the freaking good maps in the beginning. And then all the terrible maps that don't even make sense later on. So that's how bad Activision is with Black Ops over there but for Modern Warfare they do it backwards they release all the good maps later on and then all the terrible maps in the beginning 
So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty weird how Infinity Ward does this kind of crap, but that's how they are. That's how they do things. I don't know why, but, I, you know, since I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time, I know how they are, and this is the way they are for some reason. So, yeah, this map is not bad at all. Like I said, I'll just give it like a 9 out of 10 or 8 out of 10. It's a well-done map for now. Um, I've been mostly testing out my AK-47 also. A uh, good medium-range weapon, a lot of firepower, and... Um, you know, to be honest, I feel more comfortable using the AK-47 in this place because there's a lot of ways you can lean on, on things and on hay and on walls. Like, they, they did a hell of a job on that too. So that's why I have more control of my AK-47 this, this map compared to the quarry and the uh, the district map. So. so yeah, you'll see it a few times in the background gameplay. So that is it, guys, I want to talk about today. Is it good or is it bad? It's actually a good map. A lot of spaces, a lot of good places to hide, a lot of good places to run. Um, the outside space, you know, for the map is mostly sniper land, so make sure you bring a long range weapon from that, for that occasion, and, you know, the inside part is mostly shotgun land, SMG land, assault rifle land, you know, anything you want land in the middle, so, they, I'm telling you, there's a piece for everyone in this map, there's a lot of ways you can test out your weapons, so, that is it guys, I wanted to talk about, and, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys later.